In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add your Facebook post onto your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. I'll be using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version through the WordPress repository with less features. To purchase and download Facebook Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Next, click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Facebook Feed Pro like this and click install now. Once the plugin is installed, go and click on activate plugin. There we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we create a feed of our Facebook posts, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed, hover over it like this and click on settings. Then beside license key, you can go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account, just like this, and click activate. And now you can see our license key has been activated so we can begin creating our Facebook feed. On the left hand side, once again, under Facebook feed, click on all feeds. Then to get started with your first Facebook feed, go click on add new at the top. This takes us into the first step of creating our Facebook feed, selecting a feed type. With Facebook Feed Pro, you have several different feed types you can select from. You can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, feed of videos from your Facebook page, and so much more. For this video, I'm going to show you how to embed posts from your Facebook timeline. And as you can see, this option is already selected for us here, so we can go click on Next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Click on Add New, and here you can specify if your source is a Facebook page or a group. In this video, I'm showing you how to embed posts from your Facebook page. So page is already selected, so we can leave it as is. And then below that, we can click on Connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook, and inside you should see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Go ahead and select the page you want to add as a source, like this, and click on Next. Then on this page, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, so they won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. So you can go click on Done, and then click on OK. This will bring you back inside the plugin, and here you should see all the Facebook pages that you've connected with Smash Balloon. Select the page that you want to display inside your feed, like this, and click on Add. Then you can select it as a source, like this, and click Next. And for this step, we'll have to select a theme for the appearance of our Facebook feed. We have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one comes with a unique style and design for your Facebook feed. For this video, let's select the outline theme, and then click on Next. And for our last step, we can select one of these templates for the layout of our feed. You can choose from options like the default, simple masonry, widget, and more. For this video, I'm going to go with the simple masonry template and click on next. In just a matter of minutes, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed inside this plugin. All the latest Facebook posts from the page we connected are displayed inside this feed. We can now go ahead and embed this on our WordPress web page, but first, I want to show you how we can customize it to really make it our own. To do this, on the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find options to modify the layout of your Facebook feed. You can see under Layout, we've currently got the masonry layout selected, which displays your Facebook posts in the original sizes in rows and columns like this. Above that, we have the list layout, which displays your Facebook posts in a single column list. And lastly, you have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through your posts just like this. For this video, we're going to continue with the masonry layout. And if you look down below, you'll find options to further modify this layout. For example, you can choose the number of posts you want to display inside this feed. Currently, we're showing nine posts. But if you want to modify this, you can simply change it like this and enter the number of posts you want to display. And almost instantly, you can see that change made inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to nine. And underneath that, you can also specify how many columns you want to display inside your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. To modify this, all you have to do is open it up like this and select the number of columns you want to display. And once again, you can see that change made inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to three. And once you're happy with the layout of your Facebook feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to add a header onto the top of your Facebook feed, on the left hand side under the Customize tab, click on Header. As you can see, currently it's disabled. We can simply enable it like this by toggling it on. You can now see the header has been enabled inside your feed. And on the left hand side, we have two different header types you can choose from. Currently, we have the visual header selected, which has your Facebook page profile picture, Facebook page name, the description, as well as the cover photo at the top. Alternatively, you can go with the text header type, which is a simple modifiable text header you can customize down below. For this video, we're going to keep it as a visual header. And if you're happy with the header style, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want control over the post you display inside your Facebook feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Here, you'll find options to filter the content you display inside your Facebook feed. At the top, we have options to display posts by page owner, page owner and visitors, or just visitors. Below that, we can also choose to show all posts or only specific posts. If you selected specific posts, you can see that we can add further filters as well. I'm going to go with all posts. And if you scroll down, you can also add words to hide or show posts containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, 
You can also specify date range to only show posts within that date range. With these filters, you have complete control over the content you want to display inside your Facebook feed. And if you add any filters, make sure to save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Facebook feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To embed it, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated short code, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. And here we are inside our WordPress web page. And to embed our feed, we have two different options. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we copied earlier, just like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated custom Facebook feed block like this. With this option, you'll see a live preview of your new Facebook feed directly inside your WordPress web page. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, we can see that Facebook feed that we just embedded. All the latest Facebook posts from the page we connected are displayed inside this feed in the masonry layout. And if a site visitor wants to click on any of these posts, they will open up those photos inside a lightbox view like this, where they can view all the different photos inside that post, and view the likes and comments on the right-hand side as well. And if you look closely underneath each post, you can see the reactions for that post, the comments, and a button to view it on Facebook. And if you're wondering if we can embed our Facebook post into the sidebar or footer for a website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've gone ahead and created a new feed just to embed inside the sidebar. To embed this feed inside the sidebar, click on Embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a page, click on Add to a widget. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. To embed our Facebook feed inside the sidebar, we have the same two options as before. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied, or we can use a custom Facebook feed block like this. With this option, we'll once again see a live preview of our feed directly inside the sidebar. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. Now back on our live WordPress webpage, in the middle we have that Facebook feed we created earlier in the masonry layout. And now on the right hand side you'll notice we have a second Facebook feed inside the sidebar. And just like the first one we created on the left hand side, the one in the sidebar is just as fast and responsive as well. So you now know how to embed a Facebook feed both on our WordPress webpage and onto the sidebar or footer as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.